The 2015 WAC Men's Soccer Championship will feature the two teams that led the league the entire way, tournament number two seed Utah Valley and number one seed Seattle U. The Wolverines, in just their second year as a program, fully controlled the game against the returning WAC champ and number three seed UNLV. Skylar Milne's header in the second half secured a spot in the championship match for UVU. I mean, we've been practicing them throughout training this week and uh, Aaron put in a great ball and I mean, it's a little easier when you're six foot four, but uh, yeah, it was a great ball and lucky I was, got on the end of it and put in the goal. Coach Greg Moss and the Wolverines will enjoy the victory before preparing for Seattle U on Sunday. Well, we're going to enjoy tonight for, for, uh, for the first part, and uh, uh, our goal was to get in that top seed, one or two, and give us this opportunity, and that certainly helped us. But uh, we'll, we'll enjoy tonight. Uh, we'll get healthy tomorrow in the treatment room, and uh, you know we'll focus on uh, the winner of the next match. Preseason favorite and 11th ranked nationally, Seattle U gained its spot in the final with a resounding 4-0 win over 5th seed CSU Bakersfield in the semis. David Olson scored two goals for the Red Hawks, who have now won 15 of their last 16 matches. Uh, I think our team's playing really well this year. You know, we have a really good uh, chemistry, and we all play for each other, which is great. And uh, it's a great team effort from all of us. After failing to reach the final last season as the number two seed, Coach Pete Fewing and the Red Hawks look forward to the championship matchup with Utah Valley. Oh, we're really excited because it guarantees an NCAA spot for sure. And uh, you win the conference in the regular season, you want to win the conference tournament. So uh, for us, and I know for Utah, you always hope in a conference that the teams that are one and two end up in the final. And that's going to happen. And that will be a tough game. With a WAC championship on the line, one team will represent the WAC in the NCAA tournament.